Hey, what's going on guys? Simonian here, and today I'm showing off the most zombie-proof base in Minecraft. Let's get into it, shall we? So, as you can see, it is almost nighttime, and you know what happens? It means we better get inside, ladies and gentlemen. So, we got three things, um, remotes here. We have a rear gate remote, a front gate remote, and the draw drawbridge remote. So, we're obviously going to want the front one because this is the front gate. We're going to press and hold this until this goes down, and then we're going to run inside. And we're going to make sure we stay clear of this because this is a spiky fence. And that is our... Uh, it hurts, to say the least. Then we're going to use our draw bridge here, press and hold that as well, and then we're going to hop on here. Get on here as quickly as possible because things are about to get serious. This is nighttime. Now, for some reason, I did not make a ladder to the top here, but it doesn't matter right now. I'll make that before I release the map. But anyway, we have... I bet you did. Uh, you might have seen it over there. We have the ex experimental hog cannons here. Very nice. We got two of those and each one here. So, that's like our main lake. That's if all else fails. We got a quite a lot, so I don't know. We got two turrets. We got turrets here, here, and the same on the other side. All right. Let's see. We also have these uh, rein uh, reinforced decrete pillars here. This actually contains um, power cables on the inside. To uh, for the turrets on the top. Not these turrets. There's turrets that are hidden. And we're going to go look at our reactors now. Oh, and here's our big reactor. I might have, I may or may have not have said two reactors, but that's what we got. We have one that's under the, under the dewcrete here, just in case like there were to be like an explosion up here or something, because that would certainly take that one out of commission. So we got redundancies here. So if that one goes out offline, this one will take over. This one's actually not being like, this is being used to power this here and to power this here. And we got this. This is our uh, emergency uh, backup power switch here. We'll hook that back up into the power grid here. We don't need that right now. And this is our primary reactor. This one puts out more power than this one, so that's why this one's... We use this one more, because it's bigger. We also have aquas accumulators here to collect water for our cyanite reprocessor. Which process, reprocesses this, which is the waste product, product of yellow uranium. And converts it into plutonium, so we can put it back through the system again. This is completely stacked up here, and then goes in here as well. And we also have another backup battery. We got two batteries, or two induction matrix. We got that one. That one's a smaller one, and then we have the bigger one here, which obviously goes with the bigger reactor. This is our power system. This is our gate system down here. Yeah, this this keeps the uh, draw bridges on at all times. This is the rear and this is the front. And then when I hit the remote here for like, let's say the front gate, it will power that and turn that redstone torch off. And then when I release it, it closes back up. Anyway, that's that's how that works. Over here, we have a panic room. There's nothing in here yet, but I will be sure to add more stuff before I upload the map. I'll probably be a second video for that. I am actually playing on taking one of the mutant monsters like mutant zombie and putting that against this base but not this not in this video that's gonna be a video for another time but this video uh, gets like 10 likes all right so that's that let's check out the rest of the base so we have barbed wire up here <laughs> no there's no spider dust crawling through here Diamond spikes here, two turns here. That's two for each block here. So that's four on each corner. And not to mention these up here as well, which these are absolutely going ham against the mobs. See, look at that. Nothing is getting close. 
Right, yeah, you go, Howard. Look at him. Look at him kill cow. That's ridiculous. They're just going. They're they're going. Not to mention these are also like anti-missile like turrets as well. So like if you got if you got a missile coming towards your base, like an EMP or whatever. I know because I tried the EMP. I forgot to take this out. That's that's regardless. Whatever. But if you got a like a missile, like an EMP missile coming towards your base, these will shoot that down as well. So <laughs> that is an unlike intended like second use for these missiles. Or not missiles, turrets. And not to mention the lava moat here, which is like three blocks tall or deep, I should say. And the spiky fence. I don't know how much attack damage it has, but it hurts. As mentioned, we have turrets here as well. These are all laser turrets. Any laser, any turn that's hidden is a laser turn. Because we ha obviously have those big reactors. So we want to make sure we have power going to that. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two if this video gets 10 likes. Anyway, see you guys next time. Goodbye.